in my opinion. So let's move on to the next track here. This is Ruin. I got everybody in the chat here telling me that, you know, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to like uh, file an injunction on these gentlemen here and brand a sacrifice. We're going to get murdered. Um, you know, so I, I, we'll see. Listen, I know Tyler is, um, you know, in Traders, another very heavy band. So we'll see. People saying they're not lying. All right, here we go. Let's check out Ruin. Let's see if I'm ready. Let me crack my neck. There we go. All right. like the letting it ring out. I like that. Ooh. down into another breakdown another one <laughs> oh so okay we had three breakdowns in a row now now where are we going Okay, so that was Ruin featuring Tyler Shelton of Traders. Oh. That was probably, and I think I think people in the Twitch chat are going to say, well, obviously, but I think that might have been the heaviest track on the album. So first of all, leading up to the breakdown, it was still heavy, and I really liked, like I was saying, the da 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 I, I don't know if that was exactly the riff, but, you know, you get the picture. Something like that. And then it just kind of rung out. And I, I don't know. I just, I like that. It's it's simplistic, but it's really cool. Because, again, the layers with this album is just, 
Leon in the chat, the gatekeeper. I know, I know. Um, <laughs> but I don't know why I like that. And then, like, all the layers just kind of make the – just fill the song out so, so well. And then you had three breakdowns in a row and then a build up into just – I don't even know how long that ending was. I couldn't even headbang because I just felt like – I just felt like I was frozen in time. Super heavy track. Oh, man. Oh. I think I probably put that for me. I think I'm going to go. I think I probably put that uh, right on par with uh, Prophecy of the Falcon. Different reasons. I think that Prophecy of the Falcon, super groovy song, obviously, with you know the Frankie feature, which obviously, I mean, I mean, I mean, come on. Uh, and then Ruin here was just so heavy. This Ruin is going to be probably one of those tracks that I just can't wait to drive around the uh, the local neighborhood or go into like one of these small New Hampshire towns here that are a little bit more uh, city, like you know, they're a little bit more uh, urban, I guess, if you will. And just drive by with the windows down and just wait for the reactions of people. I love doing that, by the way. I, I think I think that might be a person who listens to metal thing, but that's for me personally. So Corridor of Dreams is next. If you drive through a neighborhood with this, you might kill a child. Chill. Well, there's a risk I'm willing to take. Um, all right, so let's check out Corridor of Dreams, and then we're gonna we're gonna go into Lifeblood at the end, which right now is the song that's on the Core 100 playlist which I have that um, features one song from each band on there. So it's not like there's like, you know, 12 Amura songs or whatever. I pick one song from each band. That's the current one right there um, is Lifeblood. So we'll see if uh, if maybe Foe of the Inhuman takes over or we'll see. So anyway, here we go. This is Corridor of Dreams, 2 minutes and 7 seconds. Maybe another interlude, but we'll see. <laughs> 